Hebrews 11, 6. We're going to go through these real quick. There's only a couple of, well, there's only a couple of scripture. Yeah, actually two, I think. Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, God, for he that comes to God must believe that he is, that means that he exists, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So that's, that's the basis of faith. You've got to believe he is, and you've got to believe he will reward you if you diligently seek him. See, that's the essence of it. Otherwise, what good is anything? You have to know that if you're going to go after something, if you're going to diligently seek him, he's going to answer, right? Now, here, what I want to talk about for these last few minutes is this, and I want you to get a hold of this. Faith is, faith is always fulfilled, but it is never satisfied. Okay? Remember that. Write that down. Faith is always fulfilled, but it is never satisfied satisfied, okay? Why? Faith always gets what it comes for. If you stop before you get what you had faith for, then your faith was small and it quit and you would be called faithless. So faith remains until the thing you're believing for appears, until that thing is in your life, until your situation has changed. Whatever it is, faith gets what it came for, right? Right? Until it gets what, it's come, what it came for, you can't even really call it faith. Afterwards, you say, I got that by faith. Until then, we're watching to say, okay, we'll see if you have faith or not. How will we know if you have faith? If you get the thing. If you don't have the thing, you don't have faith. Right? That's as simple as I can make it. People say, no, I don't believe that because I have faith and I'm not healed. Mm, I'm going to take God's word over yours. All right? I'm not putting you down. Just a lot of people think they have faith when they don't have faith, okay? Here's one way you can tell if you have faith. Are you at rest? If you're nervous, you ain't in faith, right? And what that means is you don't have enough of the knowledge of who God is and of his love towards you to be able to rest in the fact that he will do what he said he would do. That's what that means. But whenever you have, when you can say, yep, this is the way it's going to be, and you're at rest, and especially you can tell when you're at rest and people around you are, what are we going to do? What are we, well, I hope this works out. No, don't worry. Watch. This is the way it'll be. Yep. You're at, you're at faith. Why? Because you have rest. Faith is a rest. When you get to the point where you go, yep, that's what the scripture says. That's what it'll be. Father, we thank you for it. Done. Okay. What's next? What are we doing? Yep. See? Now you're in faith. And all you're waiting is for the delivery. Why? Because you've already believed that you receive. If you believe that you received, you can't say you hadn't received, right. right? If you say you hadn't received, it shows that you believe that you haven't received. So, but faith believes that it has received. And so when you're in faith, how can you be worried about it not happening when you have already received? Right. Now, if you can't believe that, then you have to go into the scripture and get enough scripture and enough knowledge of God to know that God's word is true and that you can rest on that and go, oh, he said here, 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 and these are the scriptures, and so yeah, I trust God. That's all it is, right? Now, but a lot of people think they're in faith when they're not in faith, right? And because of that, uh, they think their faith failed and their faith never got, in, it never got on, on duty, Right? It never got to, it, you never put it into effect. Right? Like Brother Hagin used to say, people say, well, I got all the faith in the world. And he said, and that's your problem. You got it all. You need to let some loose. <laughs> right? So, now, 